Hey there crew mates, how's it going? It's Mifku here. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to add particles into Source Filmmaker. Uh, this tutorial was requested by Ennard, uh, requesting of uh, how you get uh, particles from the workshop and also um, how you create your own particles. And yeah, I'd like to thank you so much Ennard for your tutorial request. And we are going to get right into this. So for those of you who are a little bit unsure, a particle is basically an animated model. So let's say if we had uh, a campfire, we'll have two sticks. They'll be the uh, standard models, basically. And then we'll have the fire. That would be the particle effect because it's always moving, basically. I would also quickly like to point out that I actually don't know uh, a whole lot about particles myself. I can't really um, uh, show how to create one as such, but I think it is actually a feature in Source Filmmaker to at least modify them, if not create uh, some for your own. Maybe in the future I could uh, do a, a revised tutorial. But anyway, let's get right into this here. Enough of my blubber mouth here. So the first step we are going to cover is getting the... Um, particle effects from the Source Filmmaker workshop into the Source Filmmaker project. So we can do this by opening up our Steam, uh, which is basically uh, the, what you need in order to get Source Filmmaker uh, in the first place. Ah, THQ Nordic, come on, bring back Red Faction! We are then going to go into Community, Home, and then we are going to want to either type type it in or click on it, Source Filmmaker. Uh, in case you don't have Source Filmmaker here, we are going to type in Source uh, Film. Yep, and it should be able to come up if you just type in Source FI. <laughs> source Filmmaker, just click on that. Then you should see this little uh, screen here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to go into the Workshop tab, and we're going to want to scroll down a little bit and go into Particle. Now, you may notice that there's actually not a lot, a whole lot to choose from when it comes to particles. Uh, there's literally only like three pages. Uh, if there's one in particular you have in mind, you could try searching it up. Otherwise, um, I guess you uh, can look through all the ones that they've got to offer and see if any of them um, would be uh, closest to um, what you're after or not. Um, in this case, we are going to use the Wall of Magic stuffs by the... Uh, tumor, tumultus, tumultus. I'm a bad reader. Excuse me on that. Uh, we are then going to want to left click uh, once we have found the add-on that we are after, uh, and then we are going to want to read the description of the particles and the uh, description of the person who uh, published it to the Source Filmmaker Workshop, um, as well as anyone else involved with. Uh, creating the particle. Uh, the reason why we are going to want to do this is because uh, we've got to see this say anything uh, that you can't do in terms of what you are trying to uh, achieve with these particles uh, within the Source for Maker program. Uh, but if all seems good and haven't really said anything about um, uh, not using it for this, that or the other, let's say, uh, nothing that you're going to use it for at least, then should all be good. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to then click the uh, subscribe button and uh, you'll see this little window uh, pop up here. If, you do if it doesn't pop up, then you can just click on Source Filmmaker and it should uh, be right there. We are going to want to click the OK button. And another little window will pop up saying all files from the Steam Workshop. Um, and it's basically saying that they are successfully uh, downloaded, basically. Oh yeah, all files downloaded from the Steam Workshop. <laughs> okay, we're going to want to click OK. Once we have done that, we are going to want to go back to the particle page and uh, we are going to want to find the text that says include and uh, once we have found that, we are going to see another little bit of text right underneath it here. Um, in this case, it is called magic underscore war underscore barrier. Now, the reason why this is important is because when we are trying to add the particle, then the, the include section is basically um, the name that we'll be looking for when we are adding the particle. Uh, this is basically the case with every add-on you get from Source Filmmaker. Go back to Source Filmmaker. Uh, go into this little uh, drop-down uh, plus right here and then click Create animation set for new particle system. Once you have done that, you will um, be greeted by this little window here. Greetings, SFMA. And uh, we are going to want to um, go to where, ne right next to this little rectangle here, to where it says browse. If you click on that, then you may see this uh, a similar window like this pop up, basically. Um, 
which is um, basically the little game folder that Sword Filmmaker has. Uh, we are going to want to uh, click on the workshop folder because uh, we have got the add-on, the particle add-on from the workshop. So yeah, we are going to want to click on the workshop folder. Uh, we are then going to want to click on particles. Uh, double click uh, just to add. And uh, we are going to want to find the um, uh, the uh, text that we found in the include section on the particle page in the workshop. In this case, it is magic underscore wall underscore barrier, and they all seem to be dot pzf. So, um, yeah, it is right here. Left click on that, and then click the open button. Now that we have done that, you'll notice this little um, text right here that says particle system definition. And basically, what this is is that. This is basically related particles to um, the particle you are adding. So, uh, saying if you were to click on this, then a little menu will pop up, and these are basically the uh, the variations of the particle that you can get. In some cases, it might be uh, the difference between a slight variation in uh, which way the dust is going. Let's say. In other cases, it may be uh, the difference between uh, a little light and a big explosion. Let's say, for example. Now, in this case, uh, we are going to just to just stick with the rising particle uh, underscore copy one. Um, let's say, for example. Uh, let's just hit OK already, shall we? Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, yep, let's click OK, and we are going to want to, yep, make sure that we are in Source Filmmaker. Now, uh, you may have this little issue when you play the animation, but uh, hold on a second, the particle isn't showing up. Uh, this is uh, usually because you need to um, uh, grab the little slider here, uh, left click and hold, and then drag it off of the shot and then drag it back on. For some reason it doesn't uh, fully update so you need to kind of refresh it basically. And that's uh, basically what we're doing is um, refreshing the shots that we are currently on to let it know that you know that something new has been added here. Now you may find that it's still not here for some reason. That's usually because it has spawned in a different location. So if we were to um, go into the motion editor, left click on our rising underscore particle underscore copy one we are going to want to uh, keep an eye out for either a circle or an arrow um, in this case I, I'm going to be looking out for a yellow orange light circle because I have the um, screen uh, tool selected here we are going to look around until we see a circle we, we can see it over here and already we can see that this particle is in action here which is pretty nice so yeah what we are going to want to do is we are going to want to simply just uh, position it where we would like to. As you can see, uh, it should be over here. It's It kind of got frozen at this point in time for some reason. Oh, well, until we play and pause it, then it seems to update. Now, let's say, for example, if you've um, dragged it over here and it's still over there, let's say, for example, uh, the first position. Uh, this is, again, we may need to refresh the shot. So uh, let's try... Um, uh, dragging our little um, line uh, thingy down here uh, by left click and holding, dragging to the left until the screen goes black, then dragging to the right until we can see it again. And then the particle should be there um, as it should be, really. And I think you should also be able to um, rotate it as well, let's say. So if you were to do that, then it might work. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe you can't rotate it. It might actually be rotating, actually, here, because if I was to escape that, then go back. Yeah, that's a bit different. So I think you can rotate particles. Uh, it can be a bit hard to tell sometimes with certain ones. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. So, yeah, now we have done the basics, the very basics of adding a particle from the workshop to Resource Filmmaker. Now, you may notice that, um, okay, it's there, it's great and all, but... It's a little bit short. Uh, I think I'd also like to quickly mention that depending where you add your particle in the project is where the particle is going to uh, is going to activate. So let's say if you were to uh, add the particle at 28.09 um, seconds, let's say. Uh, and if you were to add the particle from there, then that's where the particle uh, will then start, basically. In case any of you crewmates are struggling to find the particle here. Uh, now, yeah, you also might notice that yeah, the particle's there, but it, 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 it doesn't really last for long enough, or maybe it lasts for a bit too long even. 
So what we can do here is that we can uh, is that we can fix this by um, going to our particle underneath the animation set editor, uh, right clicking on it, uh, going down to the text. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's try this again. So yeah, we are going to want to right click on the particle, go down to the text that says edit particle system start slash top slash end times. We're going to want to left click on that. And then you will see a win similar window such as this here. You will see the start time. So uh, at what part of the project does it comes in? Uh, the emission duration. So when the uh, particle should they, uh, do its uh, end animation. Um, its lifetime, which is basically how long it should be in the animation for. Which I assume from the point that it's added in. Uh, time scale, I have no idea. I actually checked out the time scale afterwards. And basically what it does is that it allows you to make the particle go a little bit faster. You can't make it go slower though. Now that we have uh, got all these things sorted out, we're going to want to increase its lifetime to 10, let's say. If you were to then drag it off of the slide just for good measure of the shot, as it's called in Source Filmmaker, then drag it back on. Uh, and then if you were to play the animation, then we should see that it should go on for uh, 10 seconds as we told it to. As I sit, you see, it doesn't quite. As you can see, it uh, ended like three seconds before, approximately. The reason why this is, is because if we were to go back to our edit particle system uh, window, then we will see that uh, emission duration is still set to five. Uh, now, basically, uh, like I said earlier, emission duration is when the particle um, is going to do its end animation. So let's say if uh, you were to have like a a, a slow glowing light, let's say, um, as a particle. Then once its emission uh, uh, runs out, then it will slowly fade away, let's say, for example. Now with the emission duration, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, that you have the end time at least uh, a few seconds uh, before the lifetime ends. Uh, the reason why we are going to want to um, have it slightly before the lifetime, uh, its lifetime, is because if you were to set it to the same uh, number as the lifetime, and then click OK. When it does get to the sen to the 10 second mark, um, it'll just suddenly snap away, basically. So it's like one frame, uh, one frame. It's 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 still there, but the next frame, boop, it be gone. And again, don't forget, this is because um, it still hasn't done its ending animation uh, by then. It's like we're going to want to make sure that. Um, that it has time to do its ending animation first, so it a uh, so it goes away nice and smoothly here instead of suddenly snapping. What we're going to want to do then is that we're going to uh, want to go back to our little um, editing window of the particle here, and let's uh, have the emission duration set to seven. Let's say so at seven seconds in, it will do its ending animation. Um, so if we were to go to seven seconds then. And then click play. It'll do its ending animation here now. And then it uh, fades a lot more smoothly than it did. I guess if we were to go real in depth here, then we could see that. Actually, no, even the, um, uh, even the frame before 10 seconds, it seems to be uh, gone completely. So it's just all about adjusting these numbers, really, of the emission duration and the lifetime until it uh, seems right for you. Yep, that is basically how to add particles from the Source Filmmaker. Thank you, Ennard, for your uh, tutorial uh, requests. And I say requests because I also noticed a another tutorial request on lip syncing. So you know what? Coming up next in the tutorials. Yes. Anywho, that's pretty much all for now, crewmates. Thank you for watching. It's Miffed Crew here. I'll be back with more videos coming soon. Goodbye, crewmates.